Hello, this is a video response to a question posed on the forum. And I'm just going to go through it here step by step. I've set up the printer and the A2 media size that was being used. And I think I'm using the settings that were being used in the question on the forum. So what I've done is I've selected template centered placement method here. And I have a photo here that I've resized to the exact size of the original image that you said was cropped in Photoshop. But I'm going to show you that all of this can be done in QImage. So if I put my mouse over this, you can see down on the bottom here where my mouse is now that it's 4961 by 3508. And I want to print this in the way that was specified. So what I'm going to do is just select the thumbnail. And then because I don't have the size that's listed here, I'm just going to click custom, click enter specific size. And I've already typed in 420 by 297. And I'll click OK. And I get the print on the page at 420 by 297. And when, when I did this, I have this button right here, the auto cropping was turned on so I get the exact size print that I want. Um, and what I'm going to do next is just click on this set as new working size, click custom again, and put in the specified 400 by 500 millimeters. Click OK. So what that does is it leaves the print at the size that it was and it gives you a 400 by 500 outline around it. Now, template centered is a special um, mode here when it comes to cut marks. So if we go to cut marks and we drop that down and we do corner marks, um, it doesn't preview on the uh, live view here, but you'll get corner marks here on each of the corners of the template and you won't get any on the print itself because all of the cut marks, if we do uh, select one that is visible like crop marks, you can see that it puts the crop marks at the edge of the template. You can use these too, but um, these can get cut off if you're making one cut at a time. So you can choose any of these that you want um, guide borders, whatever you want to use. But I use, in this case, I would probably use corner marks, which will give you a black corner mark like this on all four corners of this red template. And that gives you 400 by 500 with your 297 by 420 print inside it. Um, so that's the simple way of, of doing this to allow you to crop out a 400 by 500 millimeter um, and know where to cut it and have your print be the size you specify inside it. So just go over it one more time here. If I take this out and now I just add the print, I'm at 400 by 500 size now. So that's not what I want to do. With the thumb selected, I want to do custom um, 420 by 297. And that gives me the 420 by 297 size print, but notice that the template is also 420 by 297. So we need to change the size of the template centered template. And we do that by just doing set a new working size because we don't want to add another thumb. We want to set a new working size and that new working size will be 400 by 500. And the working size tells the template to go to that new working size while leaving the print the size that you want it. Now, the reason I um, cropped this image, or didn't crop it, I just uh, resampled it to 4961 by 3508, is because you don't need to do the cropping in Photoshop either. If I was going to do the cropping, I could click on Edit Page here and crop the photo over here on this side to wherever I wanted it. If I want to zoom in, I could zoom in and I could go like this and I could get the crop that I want. But let's cancel that. You can also do it from the live view screen if you select the print and then right click 
crop prints. And now the image comes up and you can crop wherever you want. And it will keep that 420 by 297 aspect ratio. And if you want just the face of the cat here, you can do that. It'll even let you drag. Um, you have to drag corners because it's keeping the aspect ratio in this case. Um, and then once you're done, you see the crop and your print is still 297 by 420. So there's really no reason to even crop it in Photoshop. Um, QImage will do that better because if you just tell it what part of the image you want to print, it's going to resample it better anyway. So this is the way that I would do it. And as a final note, these are the, the uh, sizes over here that I had. But if you want to add these sizes, just right click in here and do add a new size, um, 420 by 297. And you can give it a label. Uh, wait, what is that, A, A3 or A4? I can't remember. Um, so click OK, and you have your 420 by 297 down here. Click again, add new size, and do your 400 by 500, and name that whatever you want. Um, and you can even sort these. Like I could uh, sort by size. You sort it the other way size minus. So now your, your um, 297 by 420, your 400 by 500, they're, they're right here. So um, let me just redo it that way. This is going to be a little longer video than I wanted it to be, but I wanted to show you all the, the ins and outs here. So now with these sizes in the list, and they'll stay there, you can use them. So now you can click on the thumbnail and click 420 by 297, and then click set as a new working size and select 400 by 500. And that does the same thing. Now you don't have to go through that custom sizing thing because they're in the list. But again, the key is you want the print at 420 by 297. So you select that first. And the template edges will conform to that size because that's the current size. So without changing the print size, if you want to just set a new working size, click on that, click 400 by 500, and the new working size tells the template, okay, we're at 400 by 500 as the working size, but leave the print at, as you can see, 297 by 420. And when you use these corner marks, the um, print driver won't allow me to get a preview. It's uh, not activated. But I could show you that with corner marks activated, when I print this, if you turn on that preview in the driver, I don't have the Pro 1000, but if you have the printer, it will should let you turn on that preview. When you click print, those corner marks are going to come out at this 400 by 500, which is where this red template is. Uh, there won't be any corner marks in here. So that'll allow you to cut your paper and get a 400 by 500 print with this 297 by 420 in the center of it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.